Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rise of Mordor battle for you today and this is a glorious one. Mordor has sided with the Elves to take on the Kingdoms of Men. So we have an epic 3v3 here today and this was a battle that I did on the stream. Um, Rise of Mordor stream on my channel will always be on a weekend, uh, probably more than likely on a sa on a Sunday, sorry. Um, um, but yeah, this was a, uh, a awesome, awesome battle for those of you who didn't watch the, the stream that... Uh, we uh, did on the uh, yeah that we did on the stream. It was really fun. It was a really really good one, and uh, really it comes down right down to the wire. So it's definitely worth sticking around to uh, to enjoy. If you did did see the stream and uh, you have seen the battle before, definitely worth sticking around to see um, see what goes on because I'm gonna kind of show stuff that didn't really happen in the uh, in the stream that you didn't see that happen anyway because I was kind of obviously microing and stuff like that. So I'm showing a lot of my perspective. We'll obviously be showing a lot of other people's perspective. But yeah, it did kind of start off. With a bit of a skirmish phase, we have these uh, Lasgallan archers here for the Wooden Realm skirmishing out with the uh, Gondorian archers and I think even Dales. And we are about to have a charge over the mouth of Sauron going flying on in to try and hit these uh, Gondorian infantry as hard as possible. Um, I mean, not a great charge because these are melee cap and they have been hit also by archers. But it wasn't the worst one in the world. I actually have managed to catch this Gondorian cap here and it kind of runs through trying to get to the archers here. And that costs it a lot of men, really. You never run through uh, like a unit that you're already in combat with because you're going to lose a lot of men. You see Gondorian infantry desperately trying to come down here and support, but my cavalry is melee cav, so it's going to do just fine. I am obviously doing what I said not to do, is that, that is run away when you're in combat. I desperately had to get that fight, though, because pole arms were arriving. Um, and that's kind of the only reason I'd probably fall back. If like, pole arms or shock infantry is coming up, definitely want to fall back. But if you're enjoying, anyway, seeing Middle Earth action, especially uh, Rise of Mordor, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're here, and a comment show your support. We are so close to 5k subs now, guys. So if you haven't subscribed and uh, you have been watching the uh, channel for a little while, feel free. How about you uh, subscribe? be a great idea. But, uh, yeah, we are very, very close. I can't thank you guys enough. Um, but, yeah, that's fight seems to be uh, going on. But, anyway, the factions that we have here today, um, since our little fight's kind of going on, obviously we have Gondor. We also have Dale, and we also have the Eastlings. So we have an evil faction on both sides today, but I'm kind of saying it's like the Kingdom of Men against the Elves and uh, Mordor uh, in this kind of scenario. Because we have uh, Imladris with their all their cavalry. We also have, obviously, the Wooden Realm, and we have Mordor. And we kind of... It's a weird battle how it started, because we started on this side of the battlefield, and uh, as my uh, cavalry here beats the uh, Gondor cavalry, I think I go for, like, a sandwich on this unit here, this Gondor... Sword. It, this was kind of a really cha chaotic phase, um, but yeah, we started on this side, and then we pushed forward, and we're like, oh, they're, they're like over here, and we were like, well, we're going to be able to like 3v, I think it was 3v2 then, because the other army was way off over here, I think Eastlings were way off over here, and we were like, well, we could 3v2, but they desperately dashed down here, and kind of took this position instead, so we kind of swiveled, and they're kind of now on this hill, it's kind of like a hill defense now for the, uh, for the kingdoms of men. Um, but yeah, also, another little thing for you guys to think about, um, the elves kind of brought cavalry here, it's bow cavalry. We were having this discussion in the, uh, chat, and it kind of did get a little bit heated, um, because they were kind of a bit annoyed that, obviously, the Noldorian Rangers are, like, a cavalry unit, but they also have bows. I mean, they're doing a lot of damage to this cav, but, I mean, that's just kind of like on these things, they should retreat their cav. Bring up archers, like, they have all their archers back here, and um, they need to bring them up and set them up, actually, to face the uh, Noldorian Rangers, because currently Noldor, like, Imladris' uh, infantry is miles away trying to uh, uh, catch up with its cavalry, so if they bring the archers up, they can scare off, this, uh, scare off this cav and maybe get some rounds into them. I mean, they are heavily upgraded. But yeah, let me know, what do you think? Do you think, uh, like, bow cav counts as bows, or do you think it counts as cav? In my opinion, I think it counts as cav, because, well, you're, you're sacrificing bringing proper melee cav as, uh, like as as your uh, like as your cavalry basically like you could if you were going to count it as bows this is just the argument if you were to count this cav as bows and say like instead of having like the the uh, dismounted ones then you're allowing then uh, Lin or in just to bring four more cavalry which I think in itself is a scary uh, thought to be honest but yeah the uh, fire over here is kind of like fizzling out my uh, since the eye are all slowly dying they've, I don't think they've got that many kills but um, they've at least routed one Gondorian cav. It's, which isn't really a good trade because Gondor and Cav is a cheaper, and it's cost two of my cavalry units to do that. And um, we have banged up some of these no, uh, these Gondor infantry, but uh, not not a lot. 
and their archers are still healthy, and there's still these coast guards that are pretty relatively healthy as well. We had, don't have the numbers either, and we have Mordor here, which is like known for its numbers. But we now have Uruk Throng going in. And they're taking on a mixture of uh, shipmen and Gondor infantry by the looks of it. So I'm kind of facing two armies at this point. I'm facing Dale and Gondor. Um, the Wooden Realm's kind of like a bit free at the moment. They don't have anyone to attack. Uh, mainly because they had only their general round by me and some archers. Um, which are now about to get chased down unfortunately. They, which is a bit of a loss. But I think they're all out of ammo. These are Lords of Lasganos. They're good archers. You can see they're about to get run down by Gondor here. Oh, well, yeah, it is Gondor, actually, yeah. I was going to say, is it Gondor or is it Dale? Because Dale also has plenty of cav around here. Uh, they have so much cav to the uh, Kingdoms of Men, but yeah. And I was debating sending my general back. I don't know why. I think you still hit him, but I, then I saw all this cavalry. I was like, no, it's not a chance. Uh, last Garland Archers here. I mean, I, I think they should just carry on firing at that Gondor or uh, one ahead of them, because, yeah, shoot this general, it weakens them a bit, but you're not going to inflict any damage to the amount of ammo you have left. Uh, and then yeah, and then I go no, <laughs> we're gonna retreat all. We're gonna retreat my general. I've seen how much cap they have there, and it's like this. These infantry units here are doomed, really, which is a shame. But that's how it is. Um, but yeah, over on this side, as you can see, they have forced back the Eastlings. I mean, they've killed one cav unit off, and they've weakened a few others. I think these are bloody. Oh, they're not even bloodied up. They are fresh. They're sending back the low crew archers though, and I find this really bizarre. Like. You're going to need these archers to focus down cav units and to focus on arch units. You're going to need this cav, uh, these archers. Um, they only brought three, in fairness. They could have brought a fourth one. So they were already outnumbered in that uh, area. If I was um, these things, though, I'd be asking for all of these yard patrollers. I'd be asking for every single one, and I'd be like, right, we're going to try and match the elves for uh, firepower. We need as many archers as possible. Because to be honest, um, mortal archers, you don't need to duel with them. Um, Lord's Lads Garland, yeah, maybe you could duel with these. These are a bit of a threat, but they're not at the end of the world. And you have Cav that you could possibly tie these guys down with. Like, Gondor's got so much, uh, like, so many archers over here. They're not great archers, in fairness. Um, like, he's got, like, Bow Militia. He's not one of the greatest of archers in the world. But it's archers. Um, and he's, like, they're all just stood here looking at a, a sleepy front. There's nothing left to do over here. These elves are going to get cut down and killed. So if I was the, uh... So I'd be sending all my archers now over to, uh the elves and I'll be dealing with them because that's, that's the issue we did route this violent watchman I just kind of focus it down with marches it like all archers are terrible but they'll still kill pole arms the Uruk Trong here are like this is a unit that routed and returned I d it was like this unit was just holding back so many uh, well it was holding back these all these shipmen as uh, my archers just focused down everything behind yes yeah, so and now I have to tie down the shipmen my Uruk Trong put them da down they are just going to run on anyway and just charge my archers. I mean, I don't really care. These are Uruk archers. These guys have no lives. Orc lives don't matter. The shipmen look awesome. But now they have to turn around and uh, they have to face these Uruks. And they're going to get shot point blank range. But yeah, over on this side, we're still not seeing any sort of combat yet. The elves have yet to really engage. The elves over here are getting murdered. Um, but yeah, I'm doing pretty well. I'm actually kind of like, kind of happy with where my position is at the moment as uh, Mordor. I'm like... I can't fight in a choke point. Um, like this has become obviously a choke point here, and I was like, I can't fight a choke point. I need to allow Gondor and Dale to get out and actually get um, like some try and get flanks on, like what they believe can get flanks on, and then I can just do this. I can just allow Dale to come in behind, and then they can just get shot in the back by all my archers, which I mean, Uruk archers even at this range can't miss. And these shipmen are getting gunned down. Like I, they probably will beat my Uruks otherwise. But I gunned them down. Same over here, the Gondor's... Well, actually, this was a weak Gondor. I think I just beat that unit. But now I'm retreating, and I'm going to allow my archers to shoot into the flank of the shipman unit. And this was my plan the entire time. I have very inferior infantry, and not a lot. I think I'm actually kind of outnumbered for infantry over here. Or I was maybe at the start. Um, but yeah, now I'm kind of like turning it around a little bit in my favor. The numbers are still not looking good for us, though. We're still over a 1,000 men behind. And they have more calves. So, like, like, usually when you have more cav. You have, like, you don't have the numbers. And like I said, we don't have Mordor either. But then this is because we have two elven factions, I think. So, like, they obviously come into it. But, yeah, now the, uh, I think the archer duel has just about begun. Not that really anyone's lost anyone. They did actually bring the yard patrollers over here. So, that's good. But where did the Loki... But then they left the Loki rim ones over here. Like, Eastlings, take your, uh, take your archers back. Like, that's what you need to do. 
Like, I don't know why he's piled, he's piled them all here, and I can, I know what, obviously, having played this battle, I know what he goes on to do with these archers. But I don't think it was really, like, the right decision. Um, he should have possibly, like, Ells, I think, like, Imladris here. This has also been played by, uh, Peppy, who's one of, like, the better Rise of Mortal players around. And, uh, yeah, this is the threat. This is the main threat. By player and also possibly by faction. The build is also really, really nasty. The shipmen here, they're throwing their javis. I love this. I love their javis. I love that they actually, like, edited the javis as well. And they found a sneaky gap through. Look at this. I'm not just found a sneaky gap through. And he's actually got into these, like, yard patrollers. He's going to cut these boys down. But, uh, yeah, so they are they're cutting these yard patrollers down. They're going to do some nasty work there. Um, yeah, my general now is engaged with uh, all the cavalry here, and yeah, this is what happens. See, the, this unit here alone uh, could have just done so much damage to the guards' teeth. I was running it back, but instead they decide to, I think, go to the flank of my general. But they're going to get focused down by archers as much as possible. But here we go. They are going to manage to get this arch unit, but again, orc lives don't matter. I don't care if you charge my orc archers. Better, than you, char better you charge them than my infantry or my uh, guards' the teeth. I'd really not like if you like that. Kill them. I mean, my Uruk archers are so numerous. I mean, they killed like 50 guys. Still insane. But they're now charging into Lasgar and Blades. I mean, it's a good charge. But the Elven Seal are now tied down by the Elven King. And this kind of neutralizes this cavalry unit really, really quickly. My guards of the teeth will be able to come in and hopefully close the, uh, the gap. I love that pole arms now do get their pikes down really quickly. So, like, when you run into a pole arm, you kind of are in a bit of danger. You need to do it perfectly. You need to time it so perfectly. And yeah, my pollens are cutting down these Talian Cav. And uh, yeah, they broke just like that. They broke really, really quickly. This Cav unit is still doing damage to my Uruk Throng, but my Uruk Throng are winning it somehow. And more Cavs now coming through here. I was so frustrated. I was like, oh my god, there's so much Cav. I need like more infantry here. And then my, yeah, or my Orc Warriors. I didn't even send these guys in. These are worse than the Throng. And uh, I sent them in to kind of just so soak up this charge. They didn't even like kill a single, single guy. Oh, no, they got one. Well done, them. And my archers are so low, and I was like, please, Elven King, I'm going to need you. I'm going to need this, you to deal with the uh, Gondor Cav here, please. But I think he's going... Actually, yeah, I think it's, I said go and deal with this, and then we can free... If we can win this fight quickly, we can have two two Cav units freed up. But uh, I am winning this fight because I'm a melee Cav. So, I, as that, like I said, as that fight goes on, I'm winning it. Um, but, yeah, they're doing a lot of damage to my infantry now by uh, doing a lot of cavalry charges, but... The elves go in and they're going to do as much damage as possible. Obviously, the elves on this side now also attacking in full force. They are against pole arms, though. And uh, it's a shame because they did use up their, their pole arm unit early on that hall guardian, which is a massive loss, really. Um, but, I mean, Halberd is not great. I mean, also, this is not so good here for the elves. Like, this is a good way to counter elves. Just use your pole arms. Like, these guys, I mean, I'm surprised he's not going to have broken. But they're dead anyway. Like, yeah, they may not have routed, but the three guys left is not going to change the battle. Um, Halberdiers though are nearly broken anyway. I mean, they look like they may be getting focused down from somewhere. But, I mean, they killed that unit off. That's obviously what you need to do is what you need to pin down Halberds and just... Then if the, uh, the cavalry retreats, it loses a load of men retreating out of combat. And you can see here, like, Bane of the Steps against, uh, the Cav here. I mean, they've not lost really any men. But the Bane of the Steps should eventually win that fight. If they get support. I mean, the Archers here are obviously supporting every combat that they're in. So they're just gutting down anything. And these archers are in combat. I don't know how great a charge it was, actually, by the uh, Varric Lancers, but they really should have cut down more of these guys. Uh, we've got a general over here. This is Dale's general, and he is kind of getting, like, in a little bit of trouble. He is beating this uh, Noldorian ranger here because of the archer support. See, this is what you need. Yard patrols here focusing the cab down. Um, but the uh, shock infantry coming in will probably seal the fate of the Dalian general. I don't know. Maybe. But yeah, these are... Uh, these, uh, this is how you kill elves. Like... There you go. I think that is uh, that is Dale's general dead yet. But this is how you kill the Noldorian Rangers. You need to just gun them down. I mean, this is what they're doing. They've got five units on them. Yeah, you don't necessarily need five. Um, but yeah, they're doing it. I mean, Noldorian Ranger general over here is losing as well to the main step. So they are beatable. You need to get them pinned down. Um, Gondor actually bizarrely sent his cavalry into combat over here. Like, he was winning this. Uh, like, he was causing all sorts of problems over here for us. And he didn't throw his, his cav in here into a fight that we are already winning. We already have two really strong cav units in here. I would have just kept him out as long as possible. Like, you do not want this cab to be pinned down. You want it to keep bouncing around, especially against Mordor. Like, Mordor is just going to cut through. Um, 
get like cut down if you can like run run it down with cavalry. It's one of their weaker weaknesses. Apart from maybe the guards of the teeth, which currently are cutting down so many coast guard. They're doing so much damage. But yeah, really nice to see. I'm with the support of like these last guard blades, I'm doing a, quite a lot of nasty work. I mean these little guard would be impossible to kill without the elven support, I don't I imagine. I don't know. They're not easy to kill, but like that. More heavily armored than probably the entire Mordor army combined. But as you can see, they're bringing, Loki are bringing their uh, archers back this way. I mean, the advanced power is starting to shift in our favor. We still don't have the numbers, but we are shifting it in our favor. Um, I can see why they're shifting the archers this way, because like they are worried that we're going to break through. But in all honesty, I still think, like, deal with the elves and their cav. I have, like, little no cav left, but they are out of cav. Surprisingly, they had more cav and are now out, out of it. Um... So, yeah, it's kind of an interesting one. I don't honestly know whether, like, choking themselves in this point kind of worked. I mean, if they did, they should have just been defensive. Just maybe have been more defensive. And then they could have, uh, like, allowed... Then they would have forced me to attack them here. Or forced me to go all the way around and try and, like, attack up here. And then they could have just kept, like, I don't know, one unit of Gondor swords there and shield wall. They probably could have held that for ages. They actually caught my uh, archers out here. Oh, not my archers, my uh, pole arms out in a pretty good charge from the archers. But also these guys are getting gunned down by uh, so many different like archer units anyway. Like I think they're getting gunned down by Gondorian ones, by Eastling ones. And uh, I mean, yeah, that's great you're killing this unit. Um, but at this point, I think my guards of the teeth had kind of served their purpose. I've won this fight on this side. Or I've done enough damage that like, our allies lost their general. They lost their gen. Oh, Linden. Oh, not Linden. Uh, Imlad just lost his gen. I mean, it doesn't really matter because elves have really good morale. Um, but, I mean, in fairness, like, Imlad just is nearly dead. I mean, they were complaining about Imlad just, like, being so strong. Yeah, his archer cab survived. Which is obviously a little bit of a problem. But they had opportunities so long to kill this cab. I mean, they're killing it over here. I mean, also, they're baiting the steps, like... Are uh, losing, but I think they're only losing to these uh, archers being in it. Infantry when supporting in a cavalry fight always kind of does pretty well. Because he bane the steps are doing their best. They'll cut they would have cut down that cav easily. But uh they won't cut it down now that they have the uh, the uh, arch support. But yeah. It's a shame. I mean look at that. They like they've not really protected their archers very well either. Low Kirim archers here with full ammo routing, so that's never a good sign. Uh Yard Patrol is over here. I mean, trying to do what they can. I mean, they're shooting archers with no ammo. That's never a good choice. I mean, that's that's a decision that I don't think is a really good move. Like, I mean, you could at least shoot my general. My general here, as soon as the eye is, like, running up now. He's already seen action, so he's going to be weak. It wasn't a great charge either by him. What a terrible charge. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he's done enough. I think I popped a load of, like... War cries and stuff on him because I had stacked like I had two so like some say our unit gets a war cry and then the general I gave him one. Um, but I saw this over here like this was a fight that the elves are losing. I could turn this fight around easy with a charge. Both these units are really weak. Um, but yeah, there you go. We break one unit and then we're about to break the other one. There you go. And the elves survive with 23 men. So I mean, small unit but it can cause them uh, damage. And this one over here did break as well. So I mean, as you can see, we are turning this battle around and we're probably going to win it now. Um, but I think, like, in all honesty, the, like, the armies of men, if we call them, want to call them that, I think they made a few mistakes. I think they didn't use their cavalry superiority to full effect. I think they definitely could have done that. Um, like, when they came around the back here, they all came through one spot here. They all came through here, and they kind of had it all set up, prepared for them. If they came, like, some around here, it would have kind of opened it up, made it a bit more of a problem. They kept some cavs, like, the Gondorian cav came through here. Which, I'm not saying that's a mistake, because in the end it did manage to obviously get through and do some damage. But I think they could have uh, either sent it like over towards uh, the elven front, or had it come round the back again. Um, because instead, like, it coming through the middle, obviously I could see it coming, and I had stuff ready for it. But if they had it coming around the back, I had like most of my infantry tied down trying to deal with the infantry here. I don't know, it, it's kind of hard to say. And the archers as well, I think like if they sent... We were talking about it and they were like... Obviously had their complaints about archer cav being like more archers than cav, which in my opinion it's not. It's on horseback, it's cav. Um, because if you say that, then you're allowing like imagine to bring eight cav units in theory. So I think that was fun. I think that was a it's a fair rule for what are you using it for? Like you um, like archer cav in the end is cav. If it's it's 
it's how it's been for every other Total War. But anyway, um, if they'd use their archers, I think, to focus on the arch cab or just to even up that Elven fight, they may have been okay. Like I said, you don't need to worry about Uruk archers. Yeah, they'll do a bit of damage to you, but like they don't, they're don't, they not going to do the overwhelming damage that like all those Elves are going to do. And I think at that point also, Wooden Realm had lost a lot, and yeah, they all chain routed um, really, really quickly there. Um, but yeah, so we did win that one. It was a pretty good one. It was a pretty victory. It was a really close battle. Um, and we didn't really have, and we had like no numbers and no balance of power really at all. Uh, it was an interesting co coalition in fairness. Playing Mordor, I usually don't do very well. But uh, yeah, it was a fun one for sure. And uh, yeah, we'll quickly go over some of the kills. I mean, I, like I said, I was playing as Mordor. 158 kills my general's not too bad. It's n some of the I have like never been as strong as it like when they came out. They were really strong then, and they've been debuffed and also like archers now being strengthened. Um, these guys kind of like get focused down pretty hard in most games now. They don't often. Ha it's rare that they have a good game. All quarries with 160 kills is not bad. They're actually better than any of my Uruk Throng, which is uh, kind of surprising. I mean, my Uruk Throng getting 128. Guards Teeth 100, uh, 118, not bad, but I mean, maybe m wanted a few more kills from them. Uh, Arch is doing really well, though. I mean, they were like my MVPs. Like I said, they were getting, getting loads of flanking shots. So they were to gun down units. I mean, 254 is really good. 215, they did really well. Um, yeah, my Summons the Eye only getting like 86 kills, kind of getting gunned down. Then we have uh, Kuppa here playing as Imladris, or Peppy, I should say. Um, yeah, I mean, like, obviously his arch cap did really well. I mean, one got 71. It's not amazing. Uh, like, 128. It's still not, like, amazing. 260, I'd say, is good. Like, this is standard, I'd say, for the Noldorian Rangers. I mean, if you look at their kills, they actually don't get that many kills. Like, they're not getting... And their archers maybe did a little bit better. But, I mean, they, again, they didn't get, like, insane kills. Uh, 260 kills, though, is pretty good for this one. And it's still fresh. This may have been running down archers or killing archers. I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah. Like, so, I mean, they didn't do amazingly well, these archers. Probably one of the weaker games I've seen them do. Uh, but it's like, Shock did okay, getting 153. His archers, like, his dismounted ones, getting 106. And then we have Kimo Sabi, who was playing one of the newer players on the stream. So it's good to have him there. 128 kills with his uh, last Garland Blaze. Really, really... Uh, I mean, he did really well, I think, for, like, his situation. He lost so many archers early on. I mean, even his, like... Archers that got run down, they managed to get over 100 kills. Um, so, like, yeah, his archers were all, well, 140 odd kills. He did well, he was supporting me, and then obviously fighting on his own front. Elven King getting 97 kills. Fortunately, his whole guy only getting 41. He did kind of sacrifice itself. Then we have Omens, who was playing his Dale. I mean, 132 kills with Ravanian Regents, 191 with his Shipman's pretty good. This unit, Shipman aren't usually that good, but I mean, you can see here, like, their kills aren't that great, but this one did very well, surprisingly. His Vinland Watchman. Uh, one getting zero kills, one getting 37. Yeah, kind of got focused down. Vinland Watchmen, I probably wouldn't bring. They're just kind of sucky infantry. Kind of like Coast Guards. They kind of, like, just get focused down really quickly and killed. Archers, unfortunately, not many kills. I think he was using them um, against the Elves, and they kind of got run down. His Cav did okay, 106 kills. Not bad, but, yeah, these two could have possibly done a little bit better. Um, maybe. I think, like, when he threw them in, like, he maybe wanted to go in more than one way. He kind of goes in, like, just through that one alleyway and my cav and the elven cav kind of pin him down and we can get infantry in there if he came in through a few different directions we may have been a bit difficult to defend against him i don't know anyway anyway, anyway i'm waiting on we have uh these things played by mythic uh 50 odd kills with the loki room he got 76 here i mean not bad amazing as we've seen like they do really well against Gondor, but it doesn't seem like they're doing too great against like elves and stuff like that. Um, 103 kills for the Halb Diz, not bad. 104 against the, for the Locrium Archers here. His Cav did nothing, unfortunately. I don't know whether it was getting focused down or whether he just got beaten in combats, but yeah, they did not do that great. Uh, and then we have I Don't Know Who's Playing as Gondor. Uh, he did pretty well against me. He got some pretty good kills. 110 with the Citadel Guards, and these guys refused to break. His Gondor uh, Infantry getting 145. 122s. Pole arms again, kind of just getting focused down. Whenever any pole arm came near me, I was like, if we kill these guys, we're fine. Uh, Bowen, Bow militia getting 143 is pretty good, though. Actually, outscoring any of his arch other archers. And his cab did okay. 99 kills. I mean, but look at, like, they had so much cab that, like, I thought they were going to just overwhelm us, to be honest, but they did not. But there you go, guys. The Elven and Mordor alliance succeeds. The kingdoms of men have been defeated. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, uh, help us towards 5k subs. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.